game winning shots are probably the most exciting thing that can happen in a basketball game. And we've seen some great ones throughout NBA history. But today we're not just looking at game winners, we're looking at buzzer beating shots. Shots that went in right as time expired, because those are the true game winners when you can see the whole team rush on the court and tackle the guy that just hit it in. There's been a lot of great ones in league history, but no list is going to be 100% accurate, so this is just the list that I came up with. It's in no order, and it starts with number 10, Damian Lillard on the Rockets. If you've ever needed the perfect example of an insane game winner, the one Damian Lillard hit on the Houston Rockets to close out the series is it. Hitting a shot to win the series, hitting a shot with less than a second left, hitting it when your team was down by two, and on your home floor are all things that make a great game winner. But when you have all of those things combined into one is what makes Dame's shot on the Rockets an all time great. It was the first round of the playoffs, the Trailblazers were up 3 games to 2, but it looked like game 7 was gonna go back to Houston, which would have been bad news for Portland, but down 2 with .9 seconds left on the clock, I'll let you see for yourself. 9 tenths left, a 3 wins the series, it's Lillard, he got the shot off, Lillard down, and the Blazers win the series for the first time! Number 9. Kobe Bryant against the Suns. On April 30th, 2006, it was game 4 between the Suns and the Lakers. The game was in overtime, and with just 11 seconds left on the clock, Phoenix had the ball and they were up by 1. So when they inbounded it, the Lakers had to either get a steal or a foul. And right after Steve Nash passed half court, Luke Walden and Lamar Odom trapped him, forcing a jump ball. They had the jump ball that was tipped to Kobe, and I'll let the video take it from there. What an insane sequence of events that led to that shot. It went in right as the buzzer hit, and that put the Lakers up 3-1. to one. But even though the Suns would still come back and win the series, that doesn't take away from the greatness of this shot by one of the all-time greats. Number 8. Derek Fisher beats the Spurs in .4 seconds. The Derek Fisher shot against the Spurs will always be one of the craziest buzzer beaters in the NBA and in NBA playoff history. The series was tied 2-2 and there was an incredible back and forth going on before this buzzer beater took place. With the Lakers down by one, Kobe Bryant hit a shot to leave 11 seconds left on the clock. And then Tim Duncan came right back with the craziest one-handed, one-footed, off-balance prayer shot of his life to take the lead with .4 seconds left. Now we've seen this happen before. There's less than a second left on the clock, and the team inbounds the ball and throws up a random brick. They lose the game and just walk back to the locker room. But not this time. This time was a one-of-a-kind shot by Derek Fisher. Take a look. Here they go. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Derek Fisher scores at the buzzer! It'll have to be reviewed. They'll review it. Number 7. David Lee with the lob. Now, hitting a shot with .4 seconds left on the clock, you'd think it couldn't get any crazier than that. Until ya boy, David Lee came along. It was just a regular season game between the Bobcats and the Knicks, and the announcers always say that with any amount of time left on the clock, anything can still happen, and it's always enough time to throw a lob. I never believed that until David Lee put in this one with .1 seconds left on the clock. As they throw it at the basket. Yeah! Number 6, The Shot by Michael Jordan. It's gotta be the top one or two most popular buzzer beaters the league has ever seen. If you don't know the story behind it, it was back in the 1989 playoffs where the series were to the best of five. It was tied 2-2 on the Cavs home court and the game was tied 97-98. to Michael Jordan drove past Craig Elo, hitting a shot, giving them a one point lead with six seconds left on the clock. Craig inbounds the ball, cuts to the basket, hits the layup, leaves three seconds on the clock with them up by one. And then that led to this. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Jordan made this insane shot in a full sprint, celebrated over Craig's limp body. Get up, Craig! Come on, Craig! And in the end, it's helped his case for being the GOAT. Number five, Stockton beats the Rockets for a spot in the finals. Man, 
The Houston Rockets have got some bad luck against buzzer beaters in the playoffs. Game 6 of the 97 Western Conference Finals. The score was tied at 100 with 2.6 seconds left. The Jazz were up 3 games to 2. If they won here, they'd go on to face the death sentence of Michael Jordan and the Bulls in the NBA Finals. You gotta imagine for the Rockets, this is a hard play to guard because you're gonna have Malone cutting to the basket and then one of the all-time great shooters in Stockton trying to get an open jump shot. And of course, you gotta keep track of all the role players. If Utah misses this shot, the game just goes to overtime, so there's not so much pressure, which was a good thing for John Stockton. But all of that combined led to this. Number 4, Jerry West 60 foot buzzer beater. It was game 3 of the 1970 NBA Finals between the Lakers and the Knicks. The score was tied, but then Dave DeBusher hit a jump shot that left 3 seconds on the clock, putting the Knicks up by 2. The Lakers didn't have any timeouts left, so they inbounded the ball, and this happened. Two, two seconds, one second, West throws it up. Jerry hit a perfect swish with that shot, and there was no three-point line back then, or else that would have been a game winner. Instead, it just sent the game to overtime, where sadly, the Lakers still lost. They lost the game and the series, but a 60-foot buzzer beater by the logo in the finals is still good enough to make this list. Number 3. Dwayne Wade Steals the Win this is another one from the regular season, but it's one of the most impressive buzzer beaters you'll see in the NBA. Hitting a buzzer beater from any spot on the court's great, but when it's double overtime, the score is tied, and the other team has the ball with 11 seconds left, and you're the one to hit the buzzer beater, that's insane. That's a matchup right here for the Heat. Shaman, yes, Wade, Wade with a steal, with two. Wade puts it up for the win. Yeah, oh, baby. he did it, he did it. Just think, when the other team has the ball and the guy is preparing in his head to hopefully hit one of the biggest shots of his life with the clock running out. But Wade steals it straight out of his hands, steals his moment, and then hits his own game winner in a full sprint. Now that's dirty. Number 2. Big Shot Bob Saves the Lakers Big Shot Bob made a career out of hitting big shots. Shocker. If you saw my last video or are a fan of the NBA, you'd probably know that. But if not, that's okay. But out of all of his clutch shots, his biggest probably came in Game 5 of the 2005 Finals against the Pistons. But since we're talking about buzzer beaters here, we're talking about his game winner in Game 4 of the 2002 Western Conference Finals that saved the series for Shaq and Kobe. The Lakers were already two-time defending champions and looking to three-peat, but that was in real jeopardy. Not that kind of jeopardy. When they were seconds away from finding themselves down 3-1 to one against the Kings in the Western Conference Finals. Shaq missed a shot, Kobe missed a shot, but then the ball got knocked straight to Robert Ory, and see for yourself. Number 1. LeBron against the Magic It was the Eastern Conference Finals. The Magic had just won Game 1, and in the second half of Game 2, it looked like the Cavaliers had the Game 1. But then Orlando came back from being down 23 points at one time, and Hito Turkoglu had just hit a jump shot to put the Magic up by 2 with 1 second left on the clock. So now the Cavs were inbounding, and Orlando knew what play was coming because they had seen it on tape from a game a few months earlier against the Pacers. But there was nothing they could do the from ball. stopping LeBron Lewis. James from Gets doing LeBron. this. For three for the win. Yes! LeBron James at the buzzer! As the Cavaliers have pulled it up! Shooting all in the face of Turkoglu to win the game. LeBron and the Cavs would still lose the series, but the Rainbow 3 into the celebration has made this one of the more popular buzzer beating highlights in the NBA. So that was my list. Like I said, no list is perfect, but if you do think I missed any major shots that should have been in this list, definitely comment them down below and let me know. Also comment your thoughts on this video and any ideas you'd like to see next. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.